What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Nerd Sower. It's August, and I thought I'd do another toy run. With me is nobody. I'm all by myself. My brother started his new job today, so I'm all by myself. So I'll be doing this toy run solo. So it might get a little weird, especially if I'm talking to my phone in the stores and no one's with me. Now, there's a lot of new stuff out, and I've been hearing stuff. I've even found some stuff. Check this out. Yeah, picked up those Elite Wrestling Legends the other day. Last night I picked up the new Luke Dagaba Yoda set at a Target. So we'll see what I find. The new AEW figures are supposedly out today. I'm hoping to run into them. I'm still on the hunt for Kit Fisto's Wave of Black Series. I think it's 78, the Rick Rude Viscera Wave. I'm looking for them. So let's see what we got. I'm really excited. I'm gonna hit a couple Walmarts and a couple Targets. Let's get going, folks. Before we head into the store, I want to tell you guys real quick about the Toys for the Ages Expo coming up this Saturday in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So near me, I'll be going. I can't wait. It's my first show since uh, last year because of all the COVID craziness, which I'll get to in a minute. But the show is Saturday, August 15th, 2020, obviously. There's going to be 56 vendors, 96 pieces, toys, comics, video games, pop cultures, clothing at the Carlisle Expo Center in Carlisle, PA. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. is the early bird. That's $10 to get in. Then 10 a.m. on, it's only a $5 general admission. Kids under 12 get in free. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Special guest, Butch Patrick, also known as Eddie Munster, if you didn't know. And COVID safety measures will be in place. They just announced what they're doing. They're only going to fill a 25% capacity. Masks are required. They're really going out of their way to make sure that this is safe. So I'm really pumped. I get a toy show and it's COVID safe. I can't wait. If you're in the area, just go. And yeah, I'll see you there. I can't wait, and you shouldn't be able to wait either. This Saturday, folks, don't miss it. So Walmart number one, I am in the electronics section here. No Casey Jones slash Raphael, with it's what I'm looking for over here. Still haven't found those guys. Let's head over to Toys. Come on, AEW. Come on, AEW. They are in the middle of a reset here. I was here a couple days ago, and this was not set up like this. Some DC multiverse here. And oh, look at this. You can tell the little Walmart. Wow. This is the Marvel Legends area. Looking as stocked as usual. Power Rangers just continues to be stocked well. The toy section is in rough shape, kids. So the Carlisle Walmart is just being like a typical Walmart here. Holy crap, this might even be worse than a typical Walmart. I mean, at least usually they have pegs. Look at this. Good Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have a display out here for Wonder Woman 84 with the gold member Wonder Woman that nobody wants. Da, 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 da. So no AEW, unfortunately, here today. So the first Walmart of the day was a bust, which, what are you gonna do? I'm not too upset. Uh, they look like they're doing a reset, so I will be back in this area on Wednesday. By the way, this is the Carlisle Walmart, so I'll check again. Hopefully I can find some AEW. I still got at least one, maybe two more Walmarts to go tonight. I'm thinking I'll do like the triple Walmart four target type thing. It's kind of lonely doing this by yourself. Carlisle Walmart, it's been cool. We are in the Carlisle Target. And much to do about nothing. Same stuff that was here when I was here the other day. It's a very green baby Yoda. And look how cute the little speaker is. That's cool. I am not confident I'll find anything here. I picked up the Chase Gray Valentine at this store the other day. I don't think I'll strike lightning multiple times. They are shockingly well stocked so far, though. Quite a few DC multiverse. Transformers. Holy crap, G.I. Joe. I haven't seen these out in the wild yet. They have a Duke. And they have a Scarlet. These are tempting, but G.I. Joe just wasn't a big thing for me as a kid, so I can't start another line without a good reason. I'd lose my mind. We got some Legends. Oh, wow. New Legends, too. Well, I guess kind of. So New Legends, we got the Strong Guy Wave. I haven't seen any of these yet in person. Tom Cassidy. 
Sunspot, Blue Deadpool, Oops, sorry guys, Warpath, hmm, they look cool. Nothing that's my flavor though, I'm very selective on my Marvel Legends. These guys don't even have a spot set up for AEW. They sold the rest of the WWE Legends that they had the other day. No signs of anything else too good here. So, looks like our one catch was the two G.I. Two GI Joe guys. You know, if I see Deathstroke, I'm gonna have a hard time not buying him just because he's Deathstroke, he looks awesome. As I get ready to enter Walmart number three, it started to rain, yay. Wait, this is only Walmart number two. Walmart number two and it's raining. So we're at Mechanicsburg now. Let's see what they got. Let's go AEW, let's go. All right. Not looking promising based on how well organized this crap is. So at least I got pegs up. I guess that's a start. Not much going on. I guess that's supposed to be Walmart's Wonder Woman 84 display. Electronics also has nothing. It's a new gremlin. I never saw that guy before. Target number two. Let's see what we got. Well, we're going to start here in the wrestling section. They actually stocked up the basic top picks since the last time I was here. And who got a couple of AJ Styles. That guy's like the Jaina of wrestling. Wait, wait for it. You ready? Right there, that's the real match made in heaven. The peg warmer match made in heaven. All right, this aisle again looks pretty stocked. Shocking. And Scarlet again, so I see my second instance of G.I. Joe and my second instance of Scarlet. So she seems to be the shelfer so far, at least. I know it's early. Not much else going on. Ooh, I have not seen the Starboost Iron Man. That's different. I don't particularly care for that, but I haven't seen it before. Let's see what we got over here in the Neko slash Pops area. Nothing I'm looking for. Man, I would just poop my pants if I saw some turtles at this point. I'm here in the Best Buy in Mechanicsburg, and I'm pretty impressed here. Look at this. They just dropped their DC uh, Multiverse McFarlands. I can barely spit it out, down to 17. So that's pretty cool. Drop it a little bit lower, and I might be uh, buying a couple of those. And again, pretty much a dud here in this section. Not surprised. Disappointing. No, Casey. No, Raphael. One great thing about this Walmart is I don't have the Comcast person assaulting me, asking me who my internet provider is. You guys notice that lately? Every Walmart around here is doing it. Oh, look, more G.I. Joe. We got Scarlet Shocker, but Roadblock. That's my first time seeing him. Let's see how he looks. Oh, he looks really good. Holy crap, that's a big gun. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, look, Baby Yoda. Oh, look at that, guys. They have the Luke Dagobah set. So we got four of the Luke Dagobah set. I guess I should ask John if he needs this. Holy Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. The wrestling section. So yeah, no AEW. Hell, not even any WWE. Kind of wonder. If these are Masters of the Universe. They don't even have a spot set for them yet. Disappointing. All right, last target. I just passed a woman buying a game of Telestrations with 10 boxes of hard shell tacos. She's going to have a fun night. Back here in the NECA aisle. Very small one at this target. Nothing I'm looking for. Oh, but wait, AJ Styles has somehow made his way to the NECA aisle. He's so abundant. That's special. Alrighty, let's see. 
make our way in here slowly. Oh my goodness, they have a Yavin Luke and a Jaina. What are the odds? My goodness. Oh, wrestling. Not too much. Well, look at that. They got the brain. That's the third time I've seen him in stores. Got a whole lot of Sugar Man going on. Oh, and what do I spy? We got more G.I. Joe. We got Snake Eyes. That's my first time seeing him. Eh, I mean, he's a great character. But, I mean, let's face it. As a figure, he's kind of boring. Duke, we saw him earlier. Roadblock, we saw him earlier. And Scarlet, she's everywhere. So the one I'd buy isn't here, of course. Lots of Ghostbusters, but I think I'm out on that. I bought two, I think I'm gonna sell them. Transformers, I do not collect them. You see what I just did there? Thus concludes the toy hunt. I'm sure you can hear the rain. So I ended up hitting Three Targets, three Walmarts, and a Best Buy. I didn't buy anything. Overall, though, it wasn't too bad. We ended up finding most of the G.I. Joe, everybody except for Destro, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we saw Bobby the Brain for the Legends, why I'd already picked him up. We saw some interesting Marvel Legends, so that was cool. So, yeah, not a terrible toy run, but I didn't buy anything. I was hopeful to find those AEW figures, though, man. I really was. I need to see them in the flesh to decide if that's something I'm going after. Oh, man, there's just so much cool stuff coming out. I think the He-Man stuff's coming out. The Origin stuff's coming out soon, too. And I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to get, like, seven more jobs. Anyway, guys, it's been fun. Till next time, be cool, stay nerdy.